So this is Strathcona Park. It's a quarter million acres of mostly alpine with some lakes. And uh, when I got there, I saw that there's some, some pretty big mountains around. And behind those, even bigger mountains. And I talked to a guy, and he suggested I should do Flower Ridge. Flower Ridge is, um, I think it's about an elevation gain of about 1,400 feet. And um, if you go to the end of the trail, I think it's about 10 kilometers long. So um, the night before, I kind of rested up, made a little fire, and kind of prepared for the next day. Uh, this park has huge Douglas firs everywhere. These things are 160, I don't know, 180 feet tall. I think Douglas firs can grow up to about 200 feet. I don't know if they were any that big, but these were really big trees, and it was so nice to see them. So this is the first part of Flower Ridge, the hike. As you can see, the, these massive Douglas firs are still just everywhere. It was a really hot day when we hiked up there. It was. It felt like it was 30 degrees, maybe not that much. I had to stop all the time, and Santi was having a hard time too. Uh, but uh, when we finally started getting little patches of snow, he sat right down in the very first one and was just, uh, just loving it. Then when we got up into the Alpine, he just went crazy. He just so he cooled right down in the snow, and then he was just running around. He does this. Uh, Every time we get into the snow, he just like, just kind of goes crazy. So this is Mount Myra, and it's across the valley from Flower Ridge. And uh, it's one of the biggest mountains around. And as you can see, it's got quite a bit of snow at the top. And then just kind of uh, lush green forest after that. And um, I might paint it, this one. Um, it's got this beautiful blue color because of uh, all of the atmosphere between uh, the camera lens and the mountain and uh, then it's got this lush forest in the bottom here so that's pretty nice for painting and when you're talking about mountains you often want oh well I ask myself do I want to do something close up like this or do I want to do something further away with a composition that is further away, uh, you're probably going to include a foreground. And that's great. Foregrounds are, are really good. Uh, now you kind of understand uh, where you are as the viewer, and you understand how much space there is between this foreground and the very distant uh, background of the mountain. If you go with a composition like this, um, or even closer, then you're really focusing on the mountain. That can be very powerful as well. And here's a slight variation. You've got the mountain, and the mountain is pretty much the focal point, but it kind of shares uh, some of the subject matter with these beautiful verticals, uh, these trees that are rising up out of the foreground and uh, kind of cutting up the shape of the mountain. I always like these kinds of compositions, and I love drawing trees in my foreground. So uh, I would recommend this. Trees to me are really interesting shapes. They're, they're kind of chaotic and um, I don't know, every branch is a little different and you learn a lot from painting trees and I just love them. So, you know, those are good for me. So here we have another slightly different composition. This is a horizontal format. Notice that I've been doing squares, a ratio of one to one for the mountains, and it works pretty good for mountains, but uh, this one's more horizontal. It's got the vertical trees coming out, so that's beautiful. And then it's got some snow and some brown rock. So uh, I like this composition. And again, this is one that I might end up painting. And then these are just some additional sh shots of uh, mountains that I thought were really neat. This one's got a beautiful snow pattern to it that I really enjoy. 
This is my dog at uh, kind of a, a glacier pool. Well, not really a glacier, but it's got this beautiful turquoise color. Um, so yeah, another shot with my dog. I probably won't paint these, maybe. I'd probably keep it if I painted it. Uh, and then this one. This one's uh, just a really nice... It's got a lot of space in it, a lot of distance. It's got some nice clouds. And so that's my trip to Flower Ridge. A beautiful hike, very hard hike. The trail was kind of... Uh, there's a lot of logs falling across the trail. It, was, it wasn't too well maintained. I talked to the ranger about that, and she said... Uh, the crew goes up there every uh, summer, so they just hadn't been up to uh, to maintain the trail. But um, I did find the top of the ridge, and yeah, I totally recommend this hike.